Hi, my name is Camilla and we are here today to look at the latest lineup of the products by Manfrotto. So have you ever wondered what kind of head you should be choosing? Um, I know it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of options there in the market. And even for myself, I never really understood why I would choose one over the other uh, when I was getting started. Tripods usually come with different kit configurations. So you need to have a better idea of what kind of stuff you're gonna be shooting to best select an option for you. So here we have three different options. Uh, we have the ball head, which is usually the most common head available. The compact tripods to the more advanced ones usually come with a ball head option and it's very versatile. We also have an option that comes with the Arca Swiss style mount. So if you already have either one of the Arca Swiss plates or the L brackets, this would be ideal for you as you can already use them in this particular um, head. So it's a lot more versatile in that sense and you don't have to buy anything additional. You can work with what you already have. The standard option comes with the same plate as the three-way head. It's the standard 200PL uh, plate. Uh, but then there is this one here that looks kind of like a transformer. It can be a little bit complicated at first, but it's great for precision. So if you're shooting macro photography or if you need to be able to you know, control the different angles and levels, uh, this one here gives you a lot more flexibility and it as well has friction control. This would be the three-way head. So if you're shooting video, you should be looking for a fluid head. So here we have the X-Pro fluid head, which is ideal for video because it allows for smooth motion and it's a two-way um, motion for video to keep the stability and fluidity throughout the video. And it also has a friction control. Essentially, it's like a two different levels where you can use it with longer um, lenses or shorter lenses and it will allow the drag to be a little smoother, a little bit harder, so it counterbalances the weight of the camera. So you can have different heads with different tripods. So here, you know, they are interchangeable. And the series that we have here, the 190 tripods, you can see it's pretty easy for you to put the heads on. Uh, they come with a, straight, a standard 3.8 mounts. And all you have to do is screw the head right on and make sure you have it tightened there and you're pretty much ready to go. There are a couple of things that you should be aware. You can lock the center column knob right there, make sure that you have it locked up. And there is also the locking system right here for the ball head. If you just wanna switch the head, it's pretty straightforward. You just unscrew that, it takes a little while. And you can very easily put another head on. So one little thing that you might want to consider as well, if you're going to be using these heads permanent, permanently, <laughs> there are a couple screws underneath that you can tighten them so you can have it as sturdy as you can get. Uh, but if you're going to be switching heads quite often, it's better not to you know, be locking and unlocking that so you don't wear out the screws, but it's fairly easy for you to switch. And in this particular model here, because of the handle, just watch out so you don't smack yourself in the face. There you go. Okay, so this is fairly easy for you to unscrew as well. And there you have it. So thank you for watching. For more information, please visit manfrotto.ca.